go family. Check it out, check it out, check it out. About to get it on now. If you know what time it is, you know what I'm talking about, and you know what we're talking about. about the duty. <laughs> fish, a cheque, okay, the same spot where I got the goat a cheque, had to get some more a cheque, so check this out while you're checking it. <laughs> you go, family, check it out, check it out, check it out, but get it on now, if you know what time it is, you know what I'm talking about, and you know what we're talking about, about to do this. This nice restaurant again, decided to uh, go ahead and uh, go here again, because it's a good place. You ready to do this tomorrow, bro? You ready to do this? Yeah. You don't look too happy. Good, bro. <laughs> All right. And you know what I'm talking about. Peace and blessings. What's up, great fam? How you doing? Hey, great meal. Once again, a cheque. I had go to cheque and I had fish to cheque. This very nice restaurant. Um, I highly recommend it. They got a lot of good platters. I'm going to try to hit it up before uh, I uh, depart. So I'm ready, 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 ready. It's been a great time. Thank you so much. You come, make sure you come here. What you doing here? So you know, we got great uh, like the walls, uh, paintings and stuff like that. Very nice landscapes and scenery. Very nice. See the sisters right there. They got the uh, repairing things on their head. Very traditional. Hey fam, I'm over here at the National Museum. Uh, gonna be a nice little tour, so follow me right quick, okay? Thanks. Yeah, once again, welcome at the Sayadi National Museum. Um, we have two main buildings at the museum. Gallery 1 and Gallery 2. But in this building, it's based on our tradition, it's based on our secret society, it's based on our culture. It's based upon our historical aspect of Sierra Leone. Um, the museum is under the Ministry of Tourism and Cultural Affairs, headed by the Minister Honorable Dr. Memuna Tukrat. And within that ministry, we also have the cultural aspect. That cultural aspect is headed by Mr. Ode Jalo, to which the Sierra Leone National Museum is directly attached to. But as a result of the supervision of all monumental sites, in which this particular building where we are now standing has already declared to be a, a monument due to the passing of the Ordinance Act in 1947, with the explicit aim to protect the cultural heritage of Sierra Leone. And a full commission was set up to supervise the day-to-day -day running of the museum and other monumental sites. And that commission is headed by Mr. Charlie Afner. He is the charge of the commission. And um, at the extreme end, the founder of the Sierra Leone National Museum. His name is Dr. MCF Eastman. He founded the museum on the 10th of December 1957. Dr. MCF Eastman happened to be a gynecologist by profession. He was working at the protectorate at the time when he was serving as a gynecologist for the local people. But on his way coming back to Freetown, vast amount of collection of artifacts, those things that you are now seeing, yeah. was given to him by the local people in the provincial area as a kind of appreciation for what he has done for them. So he was deeply interested in the area of culture. So he decided to make use of those collections by setting up a mini gallery Initially, it was at the British Museum of Library, before it was then transformed here due to the help of the CMS Gamma School, and officially opened on the 10th of December 1957. And he also became the 
first curator at the Sierra Leone National Museum. We also have the national flag of Sierra Leone, green, white, and blue. The green is meant for agriculture, the white is for peace and unity, and the blue is for the natural arbor. That is the symbolism of the green, white, and blue. Yeah, we have the first gentleman in the Republic of Sierra Leone, His Excellency, retired brigadier, Julius Madawanibio, the current president. So you can come in here to see some collections and all that. <laughs> Hey everyone, it was a very interesting tour. My brother showed us around, and um, it'd be so much talking, it'd run off my tape. So I was like, you know what, let me just show you guys this. Um, all these artifacts. And as you can see outside here, it's a tourism information office, the National Museum of Freetown. That's where I'm at right now. And this is what they've got. This almost looks like the one in the Gambia. Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, it was a very good tour that Brother did for us here. Uh, these are like the mass graves and things like that, so check it out. I know in the Gambia they got this one. I, I, I filmed a, a, a few videos regarding this, did, did not? So check it out, look at this. So that's for the uh, male circumcision and stuff. So yeah, thank you so much, it was a great tour. And, uh, and my brother did good, so you know, I'm gonna take care of him in a minute. Thank you so much, peace and blessings. So here is based on the historical aspect. You know, um, ranges from the coming of the, of the various governors, and many other ranges. So he's saying these are That's how I say that. juju dolls, traditional dolls for juju. Yeah. See? This ain't good. The school of the Akus from the Fubei Angu. If any house that you own, you should pay tax to them. So he revolts against the witches for not paying tax. Mm -hmm. Because he was saying that he built his house. How can he pay tax to the breaches? Exactly. If someone to pay tax, should have been the breaches. So he decided to wage war against the breaches. Okay. He was okay. right on top of the situation. He managed to capture some of the breaches. Mm -hmm. But the breaches were very angry of him. So they declared the arrest of Baibue. Mm -hmm. And Baibue was betrayed by his own people. Mm -hmm. Initially, he was arrested and they took him to Ghana. You know, he spent a couple of five years in Ghana. But mm -hmm. he was returned back to Sierra Leone mm -hmm. in 1905. But he died in 1908. So he's on the 1,000 years notes. Great years. Okay. Yeah. What a great man. What an honorable man. I really am honored to meet you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I hope I was alive during that time, you know, to see this hero right here. What a, what a, what a, what a great man. Thank you so much for telling me who he is. Yeah, he's probably my chief now. I'm a, I'm a chief now. Yeah, let's let's see so. some chiefs. Chair, I thought I was going to break it. Uh, and you have to marry a series of women. How many women? Yeah, like, like four. I get five, yes. four, five, four, four wives. Yes. I already got one, so I get three now. Yes. You know, all, all you uh, criticizers, now I get to have three extra wives now. I'm just joking with you guys. Yeah. Hey, thank you. <laughs> one thing about it is, take your fresh water out of your uh, or your own borehole off your own land. It's very good. So when you come out here to the Gambia, you come visit me. Come take a sip of TAC water. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Peace and blessings. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah.